First, President Uhuru Kenyatta and his delegation are at this hour at the White House for bilateral talks with U.S. President Donald Trump and his team. The talks, which will center on trade and investment as well as regional security, are expected to last some 40 minutes. President Kenyatta will, within the next few minutes, hold one-on-one -on -one talks with his U.S. counterpart in the cabinet room. Jackie Maribe is at the White House where it's all happening. Jackie, what can you tell us? That's right. That meeting is shortly getting underway. President Uhuru Kenyatta, First Lady Margaret Kenyatta, making their way into the White House now. At the invitation of President Donald Trump, their host, and First Lady of the United States, Melania Trump. Now, what we do know so far is as far as we are concerned, that's members of the Fourth Estate, will only get to see them on the South Lawn and the Rose Garden of the White House, and then we will be able to see them at the Oval Office. But from there, like we have been saying, they will then split. The presidents will go for their own private meeting and the first ladies will go for their private meeting. They will, in the course of this afternoon, of course, night in your time, uh, proceed to the cabinet room for a meeting with their respective delegations. And the issues we are expecting to hear uh, coming out of this meeting in the bilateral relations will be focused on trade and issues to do with the big four agenda which is of course uh, the big component of the legacy term of President Uhuru Kenyatta. Yes, 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 yes. Earlier on, however, President Uhuru Kenyatta led a business forum that brought together uh, representatives from the business community, from the Kenyan side, as well as officials from the Kenyan government, and the U.S. Secretary of Commerce led a delegation from the United States. These are some of the highlights coming out of that meeting and the deals that were signed later on. These companies will assist you in generating a new era of prosperity and sustainable growth for your economy. Uh, we will obviously also inform you the reforms that we are doing uh, as a country uh, to ensure that uh, we attract uh, the private investments uh, in, in our country. And I want to say that uh, quite, quite a lot is, is happening. And um, we believe we have an enabling environment that we've uh, put in place. Uh, that we should be able to work with you very closely. President Kenyatta keen to assure the U.S.-Kenya business community that despite the tumultuous political year that Kenyans witnessed in 2017, his administration was keen to ensure that a political strife would, moving forward, not affect the economic and social partnerships that they are firming up with the United States. What we're trying to do is say that we've got a new framework, a new way of doing things. Some of the challenges that we had that discouraged investment, these are the challenges that we are trying to sort out. Right now, within the next hour, these meetings here at the White House will be ongoing and we will be bringing you details of what will be the outcome of the meeting between President Trump and President Kenyatta. And the question that many have been asking, what's really in it for Kenya?